I think it's about time we continue the fence project and replace this crude pallet fence with a 10 foot section of the new fence. From my estimations, I will use maybe 14 of these boards and I'll have to cut 12 of them in half because I plan to make it 10 feet long. I believe there's a 10 foot section. It's 10 feet long and five feet high. So I only have to cut them in half and I can use all the wood. And then I should have maybe six or so of these boards left afterwards. The remaining pieces will be used as a fence to go between both sheds whenever I, well, I'm going to remove these two tarp sheds, put up a bigger tarp shed that I recently got, and then I'll have a fence in between. Maybe I have a fence in the back. Either way, I'll use up all the boards, making a nice little fence around the backyard so I'll have a nice work area. Unfortunately, I might have to work around some poison ivy or poison oak, whatever this is. It looks almost like... Well, I don't know. It could be either, but it look—it kind of looks suspicious. A little bit reddish. The three leaves. Over here, some more. That really looks suspicious to me. I'm running into the exact same issue I had on drilling the holes for the other fence. It's almost like I'm trying to drill through rock. The auger won't go. The postal digger has almost no luck either, and I'm afraid I'll break it. And the soil is so dry, yet it won't soak up any water. And it doesn't feel like clay. It just it feels like regular soil. It's so strange. It's so strange because it's been raining for several days here. Everywhere else in the yard is almost kind of muddy. But for some reason, this is all kind of dry. It's really dark, too. Yeah, maybe we are getting into clay. That would make more sense. And the stuff is looking a bit lighter, so... Looks like it was just a weird, darker clay on the top that didn't look like clay. I'm not sure if the hammering or the water did most of the work, but it could have been a mixture of both. i so say that's about 27 inches. That should be good enough. After a little bit of thinking, I don't need that shed anymore. I can get rid of it. I can cut up that piece of metal and throw most of it in the trash. And I'm going to put that barbecue grill out by the street with a free sign on it. So somebody will probably take that for free.
And because I'm just that paranoid about poison ivy and poison oak, I'm just going to wash everything off. So last night I got this hole all done. It's down to 27 inches also. Might have to clean it up a little bit because it's not exactly straight, but that's not too difficult. Now this one though has been giving me a lot of trouble because I keep running into a bunch of junk. I believe I'm, I'm trying to take up a mug. At least it looks like an old mug. There's just so much crap in here. Yep, an old mug from 1970s. Lots of glass. So yeah, this looks like it was a burn pile of some sort. Pretty, pretty deep down there too. But you guys might remember that this entire area by the shed used to actually be a big dump site. Like for the past decades it was just trash was thrown back here so i wouldn't doubt that this was slowly built up with trash because that's like a good foot down or so although you know i can actually kind of appreciate using trash to build up your property because at least it's doing something useful instead of just building up a landfill like that's kind of what i'm doing here i'm slowly filling this up with bits of brick and mortar and gravel or whatever also kitty litter and whatnot but I'm filling it up in the hopes that I'll never hurt myself on that corner there ever again. Whatever shit's down here, it just keeps getting stuck on this thing. I think I'm digging through a fence of some sort. That's what I was digging through. A welding rod. Looks, no, I don't know. I'm surprised by how long it took to drill these three holes. Usually it goes pretty quickly. So it's been raining for a couple days and I just came out to pull up some of the dirt that might have washed down into the holes. And look at this, a bottle came loose. A marble. Well these actually cleaned up really well. The blue one, I especially love blue bottles and a lot of people love blue bottles so I think I could, I, if I didn't need this, I could also sell this at my antique store booth for like two or three dollars because people will just eat this up. And it's always nice to find old marbles.
I just noticed this sitting there. French's 100% natural classic yellow mustard from 2007. Isn't that kind of scary how long these, this shit lasts? It's been here for a decade. And it's actually stayed pretty level. I mean, it's mostly within the lines. That's good enough for a fucking fence. Yeah, it's not true level, but it's good enough. I think that looks pretty good. I'm hoping to in the future try and make my own little gate for it. I can see if I can make my own hinges and latch and stuff like that. That'll be a nice little blacksmithing task. And then eventually I can we can fix up all the other stuff like we'll get rid of the tarp sheds and whatnot. And I'm thinking this can actually end up looking pretty nice. The gate area will be wider so I can actually take things through it. Like sometimes things are just too wide to go through. The fence looks really nice. At least it looks nicer than the pallet fence before and not bad for only like, I don't know, $30 in materials. Given that the wood, most of the wood was just surplus from that shed project I did. And that little shed's gonna go. I'll burn that and a bunch of this stuff will go. You know, cause I like cleaning a little bit, throwing away some stuff and then I come back to it a couple months later and I get, get rid of more stuff. And so now I think I'm ready to go through all this stuff again and probably get rid of a good amount of stuff. And so that's pretty good. I'm really excited for how this goes. I'll probably have to pick up some more bricks though to extend that. So yeah. Although one main reason I haven't been doing much out here is just because of the sheer amount of mosquitoes that are out here. It's really really difficult so it might just be a winter thing although I wonder if it might, might be possible to hang up netting someday in the future like during the summer so if this is kind of like an enclosed space I'm not sure about that so yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching see ya